Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadget review video. In this video, we have an articulating TV wall mount from Video Secure. This is the ML531BE. This is probably the most popular TV mount on Amazon. It's the first thing that comes up when you look up TV mount. What makes this TV mount unique is it can fit TVs from 27 inches up to 55 inches and weighing up to 88 pounds, all while only being installed on one stud. So it makes it really easy to install. Anybody can do this and it's very compatible with just about any TV. It's also only around $25 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. As you can see, it comes in a nice cardboard box, and I like that because you can recycle it. So inside the box, there's going to be a ton of parts that you're not going to be using. You'll have to find what matches up with your TV and the mounts that are available on the back of your TV. So you'll have a lot of extra screws or brackets if you're using a smaller TV. But as you can see, they give you enough screws and washers so that you can fit just about any TV that's on the market. You have some installation instructions, and these go into how to find studs and mount it to studs, and then also how to mount it to your TV. They even include some tools, which is really cool. Another cool benefit of this is you get a 10-foot HDMI cable, so that's pretty awesome. We have some things that kind of make the mount look good when you have it up. And then right here we have the actual mount. It's very large and pretty heavy. So these right here will be meant for larger TVs. Uh, I might have to use this on my 42 inch, but these will probably be for TVs around 55 inches. And then you even get a nice little leveler. So we have the mount right here. A couple things I want to point out. Here are where your screws are going to go into the wall. You have two on the top, one on the bottom. Then you have some cable management, little plastic piece that you can put cables in right here. And then we have this panel that mounts to the back of your TV. So the mount does allow you to angle the TV up and down. So for better viewing, if you're going to be sitting on the floor or depending on how high you're going to be mounting your TV. And it's very easy to remove this mount so that you can get it installed to your TV and then very quickly get it installed to the mount on the wall. So that's one of the first things you should do when you get this. Remove this mount from the actual TV mount so then you can get it attached to your TV. And you do that by removing these little screws on each side of the mount. So now I'll just quickly take this off so I can show you what it looks like. And then as you can see, the mount that goes on the back of the TV will just slide up and then you can remove it. So once you have this mounted to your TV and this is on the wall, you would simply just slide it in like so, put the screws back in, and then your TV is connected to the TV mount. So it's that easy. So the next step is to actually get the mount put on your wall. I'm going to be doing this with wood studs, but if you're doing this in concrete, you'll have to use a different method. Follow the directions and the instructions. They're actually surprisingly easy to follow. The first step would actually be locating the stud in your wall. But as you can see, I have no walls in my shed, so it's really easy to find them. They're right there. Next is going to be using the level to draw a straight line down. After that, we'll put the mount in the desired location on the stud, and we'll mark the three holes for the screws so that we know where to drill. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So there's the line on the stud. As you can see, it's not perfect. I'm not a carpenter and I've never actually done this before. So follow my instructions at your own risk. <laughs> now we're just going to figure out where we want this mounted. Okay, so as you can see, I have it marked pretty much. Now I'm just going to use a 5 30 seconds drill bit, drill in two and a fourth inch into the stud, and then I should be able to put the screws in with the mount. All right, so we have the holes drilled. So now I can simply hold the mount up and then screw it in and it'll be fully installed to my wall. All right, so as you can see, I have the mount mounted to the wall. Now we can just put these little covers on and that'll block the screws so it doesn't look so harsh on your wall. Now we're gonna get the bracket for the mount attached to the back of the TV, then we'll get it up on the TV mount. All right, so I have my TV right here. These are the mounts. So clearly I'm going to have to use the extenders for this bracket so they can fit each of the mount holes. Now the bracket has been mounted to the TV. This took about 15 minutes because there was a lot of trial and error trying to get the size right, the shape right. There's no specific directions for your TV so you'll just kind of have to play with it and make it work. But it seemed to have gotten it on there correctly. One quick tip, don't torque these down too much. It's recommended to only hand tighten the screws in the back of the TV, just because your TV probably can't take a bunch of torque and you could end up breaking it. So now that we have the bracket installed to the back of the TV, I'm just gonna pick up the TV, line it up with this right here, so that this lip fits right here on the back of the mount, and then it'll be good to go. After that, I just need to attach the screws that we took out at the beginning of the video. All right, so as you can see, the TV is now mounted. One thing I do like is if it's a little crooked, you can kind of adjust it and it'll stay there. So that's awesome if you 
aren't the best carpenter like me. But as you can see, the TV pulls all the way out. It can also be articulated completely sideways so that somebody in this side of the room or all the way on the other side could view what's on the TV, which is awesome. And I'm very surprised with the 42 inch TV that this mount is long enough that you can pull out the TV all the way and almost turn it 90 degree angle. So that's awesome. The mount seems to be very sturdy. It's all the way out right now, and it doesn't have much shake to it at all. So overall, for a price of around $25, I found this mount to be extremely inexpensive, easy to install, and also compatible with just about any TV. So that made it really easy for me to make this purchasing decision because I wasn't afraid that it wasn't gonna fit my TV. If you have any questions about this TV mount in any way, such as the installation, anything like that, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you currently own this TV mount, share your experience in the comments because that might actually help people with their buying decision. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact mount on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gauging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.